Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Mind Matters with Dr. Jada. Georgia Judge Scott McAfee is set to decide soon if Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and her team will be removed from the case involving former President Trump's alleged interference in the election. So I am extremely interested in what you think. Please comment below, hit the like button, and I much appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Now, first of all, uh, Judge Scott McAfee has until tomorrow to decide if Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and her team will be removed from the case involving former President Trump. Now, this is because Willis is in a romantic relationship with one of her colleagues, Nathan Wade. So again, I'll give a quick little um, summary of this. The judge has said that if there's clear evidence of a conflict of interest, or if it looks like there might be one, he might disqualify them from the case. So whatever the judge decides, um, will have an extreme impact on the case in general. So this could potentially lead to more attention on Willis and her team or create uncertainty about how the case will proceed. So both of the prosecutors um, were called to the witness stand to, of course, defend their integrity. And if you haven't watched um, my other couple of videos, I talk about both of the prosecutors being on the stand and also um, one of the witnesses, which is Terrence Bradley. So those are in uh, a few other videos. So circle back and listen to those. So both of them defended their integrity in the hearings where at time, of course, this whole drama just unfolded in what I actually called a legal soap opera. Um, somebody said, you're a licensed mental health counselor. You shouldn't call this case juicy. And I'm like, it is juicy. Like literally, this all of this is playing out, you know, for everybody to see. And and it, it it is juicy. It's very interesting to watch this whole process unfold. So they confirmed that their relationship, they confirmed their relationship. Um, and they said, yes, we're definitely in a relationship, but the relationship didn't begin until early 2022. Now, of course, that is important. It's so incredibly important, which would be after Nathan Wade had been hired to prosecute Trump. That is important. If Willis is disqualified, Trump's case would be handed over to a state entity called the Prosecuting Attorneys Council of Georgia. So essentially, this agency would appoint another Georgia district attorney's office to take up the prosecution, even though the case would still have a Fulton County judge and jury. Uh, jury. So that is um, important to note. So if this all happens, it would be because Judge McAfee concluded that there was some form of conflict of interest. However, this is something that I've researched. I am learning that the conflict of interest really isn't that big of a deal. It's the perjury. It's the lying under oath that is a bigger deal than the actual conflict of interest. And so either way, this has turned into somewhat of a soap opera for sure. So let's just say if the new prosecutors could handle the case um, at their discretion, meaning they could alter charges or even drop it altogether, Judge McAfee's decision on whether to disqualify Willis um, ultimately could hinge on how he weighs the evidence at large. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how this all unfolds. Um, I don't know. It, I, I really don't know how it's going to come out. But the reason I did this video was I just wanted to do just a quick update only because today's Thursday and Judge, Judge McAfee said that he was going to give, um, you know, give us a decision in two weeks. And tomorrow is like the last day. So, I mean, um, my boy waited until the last final day. I think that he's facing some significant mental and emotional pressures because he's tasked with making a decision that could potentially go against not only his boss, but all of those 
who voted him into his judgeship. And so this is just probably the most emotionally and psychologically excruciating time that Judge McAfee has ever faced. So firstly, let's look at something. There's an inherent loyalty and, of course, probably a sense of obligation that could arise from being employed or working closely with a superior. Well, in Judge McAfee's case, he's worked for the DA of Fulton County, Fonnie Willis. And so looking at all of this, you know, I just said, wow, I hope he has a therapist. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I hope. Judge McAfee, do you have a therapist? I hope you have a therapist because I just want to say to you, I'd love to work with you because you have the most pressure filled job in this particular moment. We are one day from wait from receiving uh, his decision about what he's going to do. Will he disqualify DA? Bonnie Willis, and her boyfriend, Nathan Wade. I don't know. I don't know. Now, the judge more than likely has a professional relationship and perhaps even a personal relationship with Willis and everyone in her office, which, of course, I kind of think could influence um, his decision making. So I look forward to seeing what he's going to do. Now, the prospect of ruling against his boss might um, maybe uh, trigger feelings of guilt, uh, feelings of disloyalty, or even fear of the repercussions just within his his workplace. And so his decision carries substantial weight and of course, even scrutiny. And again, I look forward to seeing what he decides to do. This pressure that he's under, hopefully he will uphold his integrity. Now, someone made a comment um, in on the comments section in one of my videos saying, this is the third light-skinned lady who's hating on Fani. I just want to say, I am not hating on Fani under no stretch of the imagination, under no circumstances am I hating on Fani. What I'm hating on um, is corruption. I'm hating on um, just being in a situation and doing the right thing, not doing the right thing. So that's what I'm hating on. This has nothing to do with race. It has nothing to do with colorism. It has everything to do with right and wrong, sin and righteousness. You call it whatever you want to call it, but I'm not hating on Fani at all. So when I look at what the judge has to do here, unfortunately, he has a very tough decision to make. He may grapple with conflicting emotions. When I'm working with my clients, usually I ask them, what are they feeling? What are they thinking? Are they having opposing emotions? Because some people say, well, I feel happy, but I also feel sad. Okay. Those two things can be true. You can feel happy about one thing and very sad about another. And those feelings can coexist when you're faced with a decision of doing the right thing. And when you are doing the right thing, people crack under pressure. You know, I work with professional athletes and sometimes they have to make decisions that may not be the same decisions that their teammates might make off the court. And at the end of the day, some people cave, some people crack. And so this judge might feel extreme, intense pressure to uphold the integrity of the legal system and deliver a fair and just ruling, all the while navigating the complexities of like public scrutiny, um, a political decision, looking at what should I do to save face. And so this dichotomy that he's experiencing could be intense. And so the fear of making a decision that could ultimately be perceived as racial or biased, I don't think, whatever direction he goes, he can't win. <laughs> Poor Judge McAfee. 
hopefully he does the right thing. But either way, his decision has the potential to be perceived as biased or controversial. And I believe that the weight of this pressure could definitely impact his mental and emotional stability. I heard that he's a um, a rookie judge, a young judge. Um, he may be grappling with conflicting emotions stemming from, again, his, his commitment to upholding the law. And so balancing these competing interests can um, be emotionally taxing and may lead, may lead to internal conflict and stress. So with that being said, it's, it's a hard decision. So let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button. Uh, please share this. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And of course, I will see you in the next video.